Well, now it's time for Sisu Mammoth to show its stuff. A top modern iron ore mine, deep underground in Malmberit, near Yelevar, 50 miles north of the Arctic Circle. Iron ore has been excavated here for over 250 years by LKAB of Sweden. Transportation share of the total production costs is large. This is why LKAB gives first priority to the means of increasing transportation efficiency. The mine's internal transportation system is based on lorries with a payload of 65 and 45 tons. Big, strong vehicles, yes, but not enough. LKAB wanted to double the capacity up to 120 tons. Moreover, the conditions deep underground at the 815 meter working level place their very specific requirements on vehicles supposed to clear such heavy loads. The solution developed by Sisu for LKAB's extremely individual transportation problem is far from a conventional one. The outcome, the Mammoth, is a unique super strong special vehicle whose every detail has been tailored to meet LKAB's specifications and requirements. Unloading was allowed to take a maximum of 45 seconds. The vehicle must be easily maneuverable in the curving and tight tunnels of the mine. The bed must tolerate falling ore blocks, some of which may weigh two tons. High requirements were also placed on acceleration and braking efficiency with a full load. The solution was supposed to be a side-tipping semi-trailer. To be able to haul 120 ton loads, the overall construction must be reinforced. The axles were the most critical components because the load must be distributed among them all evenly. The bogey of the truck was the most demanding part to construct. The massive semi-trailer with two axles carries 60% of the maximum load. For this purpose, Sisu has designed an entirely new bogey, which represents a great deal of innovative thinking. Three of its details have been patented. The bogey has four axles, the first two doing the driving. The axles are coupled together by means of rocker arms in such a way that the load is distributed among all four axles equally. Three of the axles are steering to enable easy maneuverability. The first and third axles turn up to six degrees, whereas the rear one turns 12 degrees. Only the second bogey axle is stable. Like the truck, the semi-trailer's construction is also reinforced throughout. The ore is loaded on it from above. The bottom of the bed has a rubber layer of 10 centimeters to absorb shock from falling ore blocks. The truck chassis has a reinforced U-beam construction. The high stability and load capacity have been achieved by making the load carrying section very short. The bogey axles are located as near as possible to each other. The semi-trailer tips sideways with the help of three hydraulic cylinders. While unloading, the semi-trailer is supported by four hydraulic legs on which it can be left standing alone, even with a full load. The semi-trailer has two axles with four dumper tires. The rear axle can be lifted, which is an advantage, for example, in tight curves.
The Mammoth 600 horsepower is generated by a Cummins turbocharged and intercooled direct injection diesel engine. The automatic gearbox is dimensioned accordingly. The exhaust gases are purified by means of a combi filter which combines three functions, catalyzer, particle filter and muffler. After seven months of testing, it was easy to see that the Mammoth did much more than meet the prerequisites of performance, reliability and economy. For example, fuel consumption was only half of what was expected, and the total maintenance cost per transported ton only one-sixth of what was calculated. Four additional mammoths were ordered by LKAB to take over the jobs of the old fleet. The mammoth is an outstanding example of CISO's capacity to reject conventional solutions and to apply new innovative ideas and technologies in a creative and productive way.